this is the way I make my uh, nozzles for my it's a K1350 Sorbitol motor I have a two and a half inch piece of uh, two inch PVC just cut the pipe and uh, I try to make the edges square but you place place it on a, a Walmart funnel uh, well it comes as a kit and this is a small funnel and it has ridges but I just trim them with a razor knife and uh, the funnel set costs uh, three or four dollars or something like that it's a uh, Walmart part number five five oh one nine three four eight six and probably the same as any other small funnel but it probably has about a 60 degree um, a 30 degree half angle so I think that's about right for a, a converging cone so I, I take a two and a half inch piece of uh, two inch PVC I place it on the uh, funnel and I place a, a one half inch uh, USS flat washer on, on the funnel and that that's a centering aid and I once I get it centered I, I hot glue all the way around the pipe a, a complete complete seal because it, it has to hold the the rock tight or it'll just leak out so you have to make a complete seal around there and uh, <clears throat> once you've got once that cools for a few minutes you uh, you take a 7 8 SAE washer and place it on the funnel and uh, sometimes I just kinda take a smaller piece of PVC and set down there to kinda square it you know just uh, you can tell if it's crooked and uh, once you get the washer on there, you uh, you pour rock tight until it covers the washer by about an eighth of an inch or so. And you let that set for about uh, 15, 20 minutes, half hour. And uh, you you have to kind of take a knife and break it loose from the funnel and uh, the funnel will will come off of there with, without any uh, you don't need uh, a release uh, like silicone uh, grease or whatever on this it, it releases pretty well just the plastic but then you have to clean clean the uh, the PVC just get the hot glue off of it again so so there's your converging cone and it has the the nozzle washer inside the cement and that's your uh, first step of making a nozzle this is how I make my di diverging cone for my rocket nozzle I uh, probably should have made this base a little larger but it, it works this is a um, craftparts.com uh, item number TRC200 it's a 2 inch by 3 inch wood cone probably cost a couple dollars but um, it, it, it did come to a point here I kind of damaged it so I just kind of redid the top here but um, I just screw it onto the the cone down tight and uh, you coat this with um, silicone grease this is a uh, real good grease it's uh, silicone There's not much in there. It cost about about 
three and a half dollars and it's uh, I get this at Lowe's but OD silicone grease really good stuff for for the rocket nozzle release agent but uh, you coat this and coat just a little bit of the bottom here and uh, you take a um, <clears throat> two inch slip by two inch female pipe thread and you <clears throat> place that over the cone and to, to center this I've made a special tool it's a piece of two inch with a piece of inch and a half <clears throat> and I've wrapped um, uh, masking tape around the inch and a half piece and uh, the two inch comes tight down in there so what I've done is I've cut some saw slots about a quarter inch uh, deep on the edge I cut four slots probably three would do but I've I put the uh, put this two inch piece in some uh, boiling water just just a half inch of water or so for one minute and that softens up the plastic and then you shove it into a, a fitting and it'll make the pipe so it fits down snug but not so tight that you, you can't get it loose and so so once you get that formed then you put your inch and a half pipe inside of it real real tight it moves it moves but um, what I like to do is uh, uh, have have this down and then just push this until it bottoms on the uh, the fitting so that what that that should center the uh, cone in the fitting so what you do at that point is uh, hot glue all the way around no no gaps just just one single little bead but make sure it doesn't have any openings and once that uh, cools after about five minutes or so you just take your tool off your centering tool and so your, your cone should be centered pretty pretty good in in the um, the uh, fitting so once you get that you're you're ready to put a one inch uh, well it's a inch and a half by two and a quarter machinery bushing and what that does is it it fits it doesn't quite fit on the uh, the shoulder in there on the fitting but uh, it's bound to help hold the pressure a little bit better than if it wasn't there because if you didn't have this in there the only thing that would hold your motor together would be the the threads gripping the rock tight and I mean it's pretty strong but this probably beefs it up a little so that's what I do so you you put your machinery bushing washer on there and then you you take your um, your converging cone that you made in the previous step, and you put PVC glue on there and on here, and then you push this down all the way to the washer, and. Uh, you're ready to uh, pour some Roctite in there and it takes about a a little more than half a cup or so to uh, to fill that nozzle up so I, I fill it right to the throat you know I fill it up all the way and I kinda kinda tip it over and, and roll it just to, to make sure that 
uh, maybe an air bubble might come up or something. And uh, once you get it up to the full full part, this is a three quarter inch. Um, it's a three quarter inch uh, piece of uh, EMT, and I drilled a hole in it so that I can maybe twist it off with a with a screwdriver or something gives me something to twist on so I don't have to put a pipe wrench on but uh, once you've got your rock tight in there uh, coat this bottom part of it with uh, silicone grease and uh, your cone might have a point so you don't have to do this but I've, I've adapted mine to fit on my my cone and you just push it down to sit on the cone and after about 15 minutes it's set up enough that you can uh, turn this off pull this out and uh, it's uh, it's not ready to remove the nozzle yet but uh, after about a half hour it's it's good and set up and I usually remove the screw from the bottom and the cone stays attached and uh, what I do at that point is I I take a piece of a uh, half inch uh, uh, PVC and I just put in the uh, I put this on a vise with just barely the edge hanging. Uh, make sure your cone isn't uh, on the vise, but just with the edge on it, and just just tap that, and that cone should just pop out of there. Converging cone, diverging cone. There's about a about a one inch. Uh, throat section here but the the washer is right at the bottom of the converging cone and I found that uh, the uh, this one inch section here erodes about an eighth of an inch or more so it kind of just makes a longer nozzle out of it it's not you're starting starting out with a this is an 18 degree half angle, not the ideal 15 degree. So it's a little bit steeper than what's necessary, but by the time the throat erodes, it's, you know, it's probably about right. So it, it works just fine. Uh, but uh, that gives you a two inch uh, nozzle exit which is just right for the motor that that I've designed uh, my design of a motor so it's ready to put a coupling on here and then a piece of uh, two inch uh, PVC for the motor tube as you can see that's fairly well centered and uh, I've had real nice straight flights with my motors <laughs>